Hello students. So let's try to solve one more problem from CSIR net examination. And uh, this exam was held on 16 September 2022. So this problem is uh, mainly from uh, basically small oscillation. And uh, this is question ID 30. So what is this problem? So Lagrangian of a system is given and uh, we have to find the angular frequency omega. So we have to just uh, see the Lagrangian and uh, finally we have to write the kinetic energy matrix, then potential energy matrix and after then from the secular equation we can easily find the value of uh, angular frequency. So what is secular equation? So secular equation is nothing but V minus omega square t determinant of this is equal to zero. So most important challenge is that we have to find V matrix and T matrix. So if it is my Lagrangian, then kinetic energy is basically half x1 dot square. I think the M is one in this particular problem plus half. And this is given something like two times x2 dot square. So this is our kinetic energy. We can write it in a general form. So that will be half x1 dot square plus half four time x2 dot square. So only diagonal term will be there and we have to see the coefficient of uh, half eta i dot and eta j dot that is generalized coordinate eta i and eta j are generalized coordinate. So you can easily find the kinetic energy here is 1, 0, 0 and 4. So this is our kinetic energy, a matrix for if we have this as kinetic energy. Now we will go for potential energy. The potential energy is half x1 square plus x2 square plus x1, x2. So we all know that potential energy is symmetric matrix. So what we can do, we can symmetrize this particular thing. So we can write half x1 square plus x2 square plus x1 x2 by 2 plus I can write it x2 x1 by 2. These two things can be written as a matrix notation. So our potential energy matrix can be written as so this is my potential energy matrix and this is one half half one. So this is potential energy matrix. Now we have to go for secular equation. The secular equation is V minus omega square T. So we have basically one minus omega square half half and one minus four omega square and this determinant must be equal to zero. So now we have to solve this one. So when we are going to solve this one, this will be one minus omega square and one minus four omega square minus one by four is equal to zero. If we are going to open it, then we will get one minus this is omega square and this will be 5 omega square plus 4 omega to the power 4. This will be omega to the power 4 minus 1 by 4 is equal to 0. <clears throat> so this equation is given by 4 omega to the power 4 minus 5 omega square plus 3 by 4 is equal to 0. So we have to solve this particular omega and this is omega to the power 4. But we can solve for omega square and then we can easily go for the value of omega. So obviously we have to use the quadratic term. So omega square is equal to, so from here 5 plus minus that is 25 minus 4 into 4 into 3 by 4 by 2 into 4. 
So omega square here is 5 plus minus root under 13 by 8. So we can <coughs> easily find the value of root under 13. That will be something like 3.6. So omega square is equal to 5 plus minus 3.6 by 8. And from here, omega square is equal to 8.6 by 8. And another value of omega square is equal to, next value is 1.4 by 8. And from here, we can get omega is nearly equal to 1. And this is, and another is equal to 0 0.4. So the answer is omega is equal to 1 and omega is equal to 0 0.4. And uh, you can see in this problem, you have to use calculator. But unfortunately, in this exam, they, are, they didn't give the proper calculator. So you have to always keep in mind that uh, how you are going to calculate this particular factor. But the concept is that you have to just find the kinetic energy, then potential energy matrix, and then use the secular equation. And last part is really a little bit clumsy in the examination. So you have to always work out with some numbers to when calculator is not given into exam. Thank you.